Welcome to another episode of Mojave River Valley News. I'm Eric Swanson. I'm your host here. And tonight we got a chance to get around to some exciting events that are happening for Halloween across the valley. We got around some houses and high school and way in the middle of nowhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> This is Eric Swanson, Mojave River Valley News. In this episode, we'll be out here at this ranch to see what they're gonna be doing for Halloween. Give us a moment, we'll be right back with you to give you some details. <music> In this episode, we had the chance to go around and look at some of the different uh, Halloween events that were happening around town. We also made it out to Encore High School and watched their drive-through haunted house out there, amazing event. And then tonight we're out here at the ranch out here. This is the Slasher, thir Friday the 13th Slasher Camp Out to see what's happening out here. And you can see that everybody is all in the full spirit of it. Tonight I'm out here with Jordan. Jordan, now I've, this group here doesn't really know what this is called. <laughs> It's still under um, decision. The Trail of Terror, I guess, is kind of. I heard everything from the Friday night, Friday the 13th slasher. Then I added a camp out to it. So kind of to give us an idea of what you're doing out here tonight. Yes, well, my parents, they bought a campground and we're trying to get, you know, our, foot's, our foot in the door to let people know that we're here and we do a haunted house already. So a bunch of our workers wanted to do something since it was Friday the 13th. A couple other haunted house people we know. Also decided, hey, let's all get together. Let's have a, you know, bring our friends and family out here. See if we can get some people interested in doing some kind of hiking thing. Because now with the COVID, a lot of haunted houses weren't able to open. Very true. Very true. Social distancing's having to come into effect. Drive-in haunted houses are becoming popular. I mean, that's not so as much hands-on as like something like this. We're out in the middle of nowhere. We got burned out trees from the 80s fire. We got hills, little creeks. So you really feel like you're in the middle of nowhere already. So it's, now this um, is the first year you've done this? This is right off the cuff, you said, let's get this done? We did one a few years back at another place and it did pretty good, but it was really hard to get to. That's why we thought this would be another good trial, just to get our feet wet, to see if people are even willing to do it, if my monsters are willing to come out. And now you did your cold. haunted house this year, I'm guessing. We did, many, yes. of them, many of them shut down. Did that work out well this year with the COVID or We not, did, or? we had a big strategy plan and it worked yeah. out very well. We had people waiting in their cars, brought in only one group at a time. Mm -hmm. Everybody was social distance. Every character had masks on. Every person going through had a mask. It was um, done very well. We had a, a big strategy plan with a lot of haunted houses throughout the United States. We all followed a, a contingency plan to make right. sure we could do something for the public and keep the public safe and us all at the same time. Now are you doing this just as a one night event? It's just for Friday night? Correct, Friday yeah. the 13th night and so forth? Saturday the 14th would be more of a joke than this one. <laughs> We're right. trying to see if it's going to happen, but apparently people ain't willing to come out as much as we thought. Well, we noticed, We're a little that, over we noticed that you might be being blocked down at the road down there. I don't know what that's all about. But, yes, uh, always uh, a loophole. Yeah, you know, so, somewhere down the line. So uh, anyway, well, let's take a look around and maybe you can show us some a couple of things that you're doing here. Sure. And let's uh, see what you, we got a, enough. You got a cast of characters here. There, This one's even trying to get into the scene here. Yes, we got all ages, all sizes, everything from midgets to... To werewolves and a few other creeps. Excellent, excellent, along the way. excellent. All right. <laughs> so yeah, let's take a look and um, let's see what we can find. Now we've come up to one of the campsites here. Who do I have here tonight? Brandon. And Kelsey. And you guys never say anything. So I'm not even going to ask them. So what made you guys come up here tonight? And have fun, you know, get away from COVID and just have fun with everybody. It's a little bit nippy out here tonight. Did you expect it to be this cold? Yeah. No. <laughs> I did not. You did not. <laughs> I did definitely not. So I do we were just down at camp down there. There's they have quite a few people that are dressed out. I think you're gonna enjoy this. So yeah, have you made uh, Jordan's other event, his other haunted house before? No. no. So uh, this is all new for you guys. Yeah, How did you hear about this? I'm um, through a friend, actually. Yeah. They invited us here. We're here with them right now. Oh, somewhere here in the campground here? Yes, yeah. yes. Wonderful. Well, great, great, great. Well, I'll let you guys get on down there and see what's going on. And and uh, I guess it's another good dead night, right? Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All righty. So I was just moving down the trail, and I have here with me... Kelly Tomlinson. And Ruby. Are, why are you guys here? Um, for the scary fun. The scary fun? Yeah. But a whole bunch of them already went down the trail. How come you guys didn't hang with them? I guess we're supposed to walk down, and they're going to scare us. 
They're oh, setting is up. that? I believe they're setting up already. Oh, yeah. is that what's happening? I thought that yeah. was just a big group going down there. No. So what made you guys want to come out? To, is just because you saw it online and said, hey, let's go do this? Or? We like, wanted to continue our Halloween. <laughs> yes. Now, did, have you been to Jordan's um, haunted house before? Or? Yes. So you guys already know what he does and so forth. Mm -hmm. So are you guys from the area here? Yeah, if you could call that for the area. It took us about 45 minute drive to get down here. Well, it's a long dirt road out here for sure, for sure. But um, yeah, about an hour away is now where you, I live. Well, we are from the high desert. Yes. Oh, are you going to be camping here tonight? No. Or are you just going to be here for the evening just and leaving? Just for the evening, yeah. yeah so yeah. did you have problems getting in here or not? It was kind of Interesting. Scary. Yeah, she yeah. driving here. Yeah, yeah. I was like, where am I going? Are we going to make it? Are we going to live? Are we this place is way out in the middle. Out yeah, nowhere. so it's, it's good ambiance, that's for sure. <laughs> well, great. I hope you have a great time. Enjoy the evening. Thank All right, you. thank you. All right, I'm here with Brent Gaddis. Now, Brent, now where is your involvement here? Well, we, I'm kind of representing K30. Well, excuse me, I'm kind of representing Deep Creek Hot Springs Campground tonight, yeah. and we're having a little uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, Get together. Let's I know. Say. I just saw all the characters go down the trail here, and I know a lot of people are getting ready to want to go down there. And I guess they're all yeah, hiding out in little little places and whatever. But yeah. it seems like everybody is is making sure that they're they're distancing themselves out here, which is nice. I, so so tell me, where did this idea come from? Uh, it came from George Carney. Uh, originally, we had a campground in Washington on the Columbia River. Uh -huh. It was a 100 acre place. This is 160 acres. We used to entertain uh, all the venues for uh, George Amphitheater out there. Mm -hmm. uh, in the weekend, Seattle would come out and we'd have like Crosby Seals and Nash. Everybody, Stone Temple Pilots, they'd come visit our campground before they went on stage. We put them on Bayliners and uh, Sea Dews. This place is tame compared to what we left. And we came here, we, we wanted this place, we got it, it was for sale. Nice. We, we wanted to redevelop it. We got uh, the building department to say, okay, go ahead. We put it in a water, you know, our, our water system and everything. And now it's kind of like at a halt right well, now, stand still. But in the meantime, we still provide camping. And these, this is a private party tonight. So, so this is, is this kind of an interesting camp out, or I shouldn't say camp oh, out, or um, <clears throat> an interesting thing as a private party, I guess you could call it out here with the, the, all the people. With the kids, yeah. Wanted to push out the, I mean, they're excited about being here. Oh so, yeah, the little kids so, are very excited. Really Our good. little children, actually. Well, good, Brent, are very good. I don't, but, we'll, uh, but, don't yes? forget, the hot springs are here. This is Deep Creek Hot Springs Campground. And it's called that because we have the most beautiful ones in North America right behind us on our back door. Wonderful, yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> This is Eric Swanson with Mojave River Valley News. Boy, we got fireworks going off out here. <laughs> I am with Mr. Frankenstein, AKA. Dan Zapata. Zana you know what, Zapata, sorry right. about that. That's okay. You know, I, I just love what you guys have done with this house out here. Oh, thank you very much. So how many years have you been doing this? Uh, well, we've lived here at this house nine years. So we've been doing it all the nine years. Every year we try to do something a little extra, change things up a little bit, keep it fresh. So people don't get used to seeing the same thing. Well, I tell you what, I'm so. just talking to some of the folks coming by and the trick-or-treaters, and they're just loving what you're doing. And, and I've heard this from more than one parent. They're saying, this is amazing. They just love that you're doing this every year. Well, this glad. is a lot of work, Dan. It, it is a lot of work. It well. is a lot of work, but, uh, you know, we do it for the kids. We love the reaction, and I'm glad that people enjoy coming to see it. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, I'm with Dan here in your clown room. Be careful, Dan. That guy's going to grab you right behind you here. <laughs> I am amazed of how many clowns you have here in your garage. Yes, we do. We have a lot. Uh, we think that's what really uh, scares the kids is the amount of clowns we have. Everyone kind of does their own different thing. Some pop up, some move around. It's uh, a good variety. You sure. And I love what you did to your garage. Now, is this only for Halloween? Does this stay like this year round? Uh, it stays like this year round. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. We, uh, it, we made it easier just to paint it, make it look more like a circus, and uh, so we just leave it up. We just leave it up. I noticed earlier there were some folks that didn't want to come in here. Right. You find a lot of that? Oh, yes. We find a lot of it. I I, uh, I enjoy watching the little kids get scared, yeah. you know, the adults even better, yeah. you know, watching them come running out. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's a good time. Right. Well, good wonderful, time. wonderful stuff. You've done an excellent job here. Oh, thank you very thank much. You. I appreciate it. Now, I'm with the Okison family here tonight. What do you guys think of this place? It looks really amazing. Now, is this the first time you've been here? Yeah. I, I think that, from what I'm understanding, this is just a tradition that happens. Now, are you from around the area here, or you just come to see this? Uh, we're from Victorville. You come all the way from Victorville just to come to this? 
Yeah. I'm impressed, though. So. so what do you guys think of all the clowns? <laughs> well, I know there's a lot of folks who won't even come in here. So you guys have no problem with that guy behind you getting ready to grab you? <laughs> well, great, great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. So this is at their house. Can you go ahead and give us the address? Because I know this is something you want to do every year and you want more people to come next year. Yes, the address is 13802 Rosemary Street, Hesperia, California. Wonderful. I mean, you guys have done a great job out here. It's just, this is just, oh, thank this you. is just thank over, you. over the top, you thank know, you. We appreciate with the clowns it. and everything. So anyway, I hope that you guys keep this up. Oh, we will. Because I know this, the, the little ones are loving this. Oh uh, yeah. Great, great. We thank you. Thank Good. you. Thank you. Happy Halloween. I'm here with Philip, just another house in the neighborhood, just to show you Halloween is not dead, is it, Philip? Absolutely not. It's no. full board. I noticed you've got a great little display going on here. Absolutely. I love to do this for the kids. We do it every year. It's been a tradition for our family now for over 40 years. And this is the first year I'm handing it all down to my son. He's taking over and he's keeping it up in the most beautiful way. Nice. This is wonderful. I know you even got little fire tiki, tiki torches running here. I'm guessing those torches. look real. I guess so. Yes, they are. Yep. Nice. Very good. Keeps the graveyard lit. Well, very good. You've, you Thank you very much for keeping Halloween. Well, thank you. Dead. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Good. Thank you. Happy Halloween, folks. Uh, happy Halloween to you. Hi, Eric Swanson here again, and I'm out here with Debbie Parker. Debbie, this is through the roof. Thank you. Now, how long have you been doing this? 21 years. 21 years. I mean, I'm looking at all the little goodies you got. <laughs> I love the little corn cob guys out here. I don't know if you can catch that in the camera or not. Uh, it's just, I just, I'm amazed. Thank when you. we heard that you were doing this out there, we said, we got to come out and catch this footage. Thank you. So how many, did you get very many trick-or-treaters tonight or? Um, quite a few. We bought candy for 500, yeah. no, not knowing Who what knows? to expect. So how many do you think you got? Uh, um, I haven't counted. I know, I think I've already gone through six bags. Right, good. So, so the kids are coming out enjoying this. That's just wonderful. Thanks. Well, did you, did you just slowly just start collecting this? I mean, you got some things that are very unique here. Um, well, when I first started, it was like everybody else with a couple of little bot, store-bought tombstones and, and we'd have people over because we never got trick-or-treaters. So in 28 years living here, we've had total 30 trick-or-treaters since we went live on the 16th with two days down because we got tore up because of the wind. We've had over a thousand. Oh my, Not Amazing. including tonight. So it was a lot of bang for my buck. Well, <laughs> this is this is the reason. Let's, let's shift our cross on the other side over here. You get that. So the horse-drawn hearse was a wonderful pay it forward from another haunter that was retiring after 83 years of doing Halloween. And so she had posted it, a pay it forward. Two other people had responded and then didn't show up. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna get in contact with her. And she said, it's still here. We got our pickup and our trailer loaded and went down to Riverside. Uh, and it's, I love it. It stays here all year. Did it come with the horse too? No, the horse oh. was separate. <laughs> it did have a driver and the windows were kind of blown out at the time. and. Coming down the freeway, heads and legs were flying out. It was <laughs> it was no interesting kidding. ride home. Oh wow, this this is just wonderful, and it's nice having that little bit of a glow, a little cornfield right behind uh -huh. it here. Now I'm gonna guess this isn't your normal garage door. Not normally. You you seem to have added some extra pieces to it. Now this is something you just collected over the years and just kept adding and adding to it, or is this something that said, hey, we're gonna dive in deep and just do it now? That's kind of what we did about eight years ago. We, I joined groups where I learned how to build props myself. And I said to my husband, we're going to Home Depot, we're buying foam, we're buying wood, and it's just blossomed. It's a beautiful job. Thank you. Well, I'm out here with Debbie Parker, and I'll tell you what, this is what she's done out here. This is another piece of evidence that Halloween is not dead. <laughs> Hi, this is Eric Swanson with Mojave River Valley News, and tonight we're here at Encore High School where they're showing, they're doing this. Johnny, tell us all about what they're doing. What we've got going on since we couldn't do our annual carnival, we have what we call Hollow Freaks, and it's a drive-through event. 
allowing people to have interaction through Halloween experience, like going through a haunted house, but instead you're in your car, so you're COVID safe, put down your windows, but we'll still have all kinds of clowns, zombies, scarecrows, all kinds of stuff to scare you in your pants while you're sitting in your car. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's already starting over here. Yep, behind us right now, this is the clowns. It's the carnival came to town and they're celebrating a birthday. And those clowns are here to wish oh, everyone in the car a nice, scary, happy birthday. And I see the tables all set up over here. Yeah, they're ready to have the birthday cake at the end. <laughs> but they're looking for new guests. New guests are coming to the birthday party. And they even brought their own little spiders and bugs to now go how many it. How many cars have you had come through here? On the second night open, we had a two hour wait to go through. I no think we kidding. had just over 100 cars that night. Oh my God. And it takes about 30, 40 minutes to go through the whole drive through experience. That's amazing. And this is just one of the scenes. This is one of the seven scenes. So maybe just watch it for a second here. Let's. Well, let's go over here and see what they thought of us. Can you tell me who, who you guys are? I'm uh, Shelly Forbes. This is my daughter, Jessica. Well, so what did you guys think of this? Uh, it was scary. It was good. It was good? It was, good? It was yeah. really well done. So is this the first time you're seeing this piece here? Yeah, right? So this is, this is, this this is a true reaction to it. Uh -huh. So are you looking forward to the rest of it tonight? Yeah. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, great, great. I'll let you guys go through to the next spot then. Thanks. All right. We just followed this car in here, John. So what is this next scene here gonna be? They're now in the toy shop. And yeah, that's just filled with nice creepy dolls, broken old toys, and who knows my, what might turn up from whatever horror movie you might like. Now, so the car, the folks are in the car again. They're just sitting here waiting. They probably have their windows rolled up, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> If I had to take a guess, they're probably not too thrilled about dolls. So. <laughs> What's better, dolls or clowns? We'll have to ask them in a moment here. We'll have to find out. No laughter and no fun. At least not from the living. All right, you guys just experienced the toy shop. What did you think of this? That was scary. I don't like dolls. <laughs> I like the clowns better. You like the clowns <laughs> the better? The dolls are yeah, so creepy. <laughs> oh my. John, what scene are we on now? This is, by, my gosh, what is this, five, six, seven? This is scene number seven, and this is the finale scene before the people get to go trick-or-treating. But here is where the Bates Motel meets all the, all the 1980s, 90s, and 2000s classic horror villains right here going after the cheerleader. You must get back home to safety. If you can just pull into the driveway, it'll be all over. If only you can get into your bed, under the covers, and close your eyes, this might finally be over. You're nearly home, but only have to make it through the rough part of town. As you near the creepy old motel, your car falters, and your engine sputters to a stop. Dare you spend the night here?
<laughs> was did that get you or is when that she ran up to the car and told me that so is this, a, is this a good scene to end the night with? Absolutely. Oh, well, wonderful, wonderful. Very good. John, this is pretty amazing what you guys have done along with your students here. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been great having the kids be able to be active again during COVID. And we're excited because although we've round, this is rounding up our Halloween version, we are rebooting and doing a whole nother theme for the holidays. So get your Christmas carols on and your stockings and hot chocolate, and we'll get you driving through here again for the holidays. Well, let me catch some of the cast. Can you guys come out over here just for a second? So what do you guys think of doing this? You guys are probably excited to get out of the house and not be all cooped up. Definitely, it's very exciting being outside again. <laughs> so uh, this is just wonderful. Well, anyway, this is Eric Swanson with Mojave River Valley News here at Encore High School in Hesperia. And I'm telling you, this is another reason we can say that Halloween is not dead. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of our new videos.